and what is MikeColleen, MikeColleen.com. And this video is titled, The Greatest Advice I Will Ever Give You I Learned From a Narcissist. Here's what it is. To listen to yourself. And I mean absolutely, totally listen to yourself. Here's why. Number one, a narcissist is going to do everything in their power to give you the worst possible advice ever in the history of the planet. And they will destroy you. Do you know what's funny, though? It's not just the narcissist. Remember, even as a kid, you know, my, I'm, you'd hear coaches or your parents or friends. Or, you know, he's like, dude, you got to start listening to yourself. But the thing is, like, if you've been abused, especially by a narcissist, and you've been emotionally abused like that, you, you're totally afraid of making any decision. A wise friend called Greg T. Hamilton said to me when we were in our early 20s, maybe almost mid-20s, he had said, he goes, you're better off making your own mistakes and learning from them than letting someone else make the decision for you. Because then whether you fail or succeed, you can't learn from that. You can only learn when you make the decision. All right. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. And here's the thing. You need to make decisions based on what you want out of life. And I wouldn't talk to other people about stuff. Start making your own decisions. Period. End of sentence. That'll make you better at it and it'll make you a lot stronger and you'll get a lot quicker too. Because now you're going to know what you want, but it'll take time. You're going to make mistakes. You have to be okay with that. All you have to do is learn from your mistakes, okay? Here's the thing about a narcissist. They will lead you astray to such a degree they will destroy your life. And it's it's a very painful experience on a level that you can't. God, it's like, okay, have you ever heard someone say, When you get a gut feeling that something is off, like something's not right with this person, listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. I went through such a painful, fucked up, satanic experience almost. Yeah, it was actually. It was pretty evil. That I will never, ever in my life not listen to my gut intuition. I won't even care. It was so off the charts. My intuition was just screaming at me. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't even know why. I didn't know what was up. I knew something was up. Something. My body was just tripping out. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? And I left. I was like, I'm getting the fuck out. I don't give a fuck. Because the night before, it was screaming at me. I didn't listen. And then the following night, it woke me up at 3 in the morning. Like, it was, I didn't hear anything, but it was just like this, 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 my, it's like I was, this pain in my solar plexus was so fucking tight. And I was like, something is not fucking right. I'm out of here. I don't give a fuck. And here's the thing you need to learn. You don't need to know what's going on or why. Here's the thing. Down the road when your brain kind of clears up and you tend, you calm down and you loosen up, it'll come to you and be like, oh, fuck, they did do that. And you'll see things like, oh, motherfucker, so-and-so fucking told me to my face. A lot of times you will block stuff out of your own awareness even if someone says it to your face. You need to start listening to your intuition, your gut instinct. You need to listen to you. All right. I'm going to add something to this, which wasn't going to be part of this. I think I learned this from Tony. No, it wasn't from Tony Robbins. It was from it was from a therapist, from a coach. And I said, you know, when like when is my family going to finally understand? This was God 20 years ago. That when I set my mind to something, I'm going to make it happen. I always do. Every time I've got a goal. I either become a state champion or a national champion every single time. I never failed yet. I go, when are they going to get it? She said something that was very interesting. She goes, well, Michael, in their mind, you're their brother. You're their sibling. You're their son. I'm like, yeah. So you're, you're one of them. I'm like, yeah. She goes, in their world, they're like, well, I can't do that. I'm not inspired to work to run seven miles every morning for a kickboxing event for three months. I'm not inspired to do 500 push-ups every day and 500 sit-ups every day. I'm not inspired to get kicked in the face and punched in, in for eight weeks before a fight. She was Michael in their mind. They're thinking, well, I can't do that. There's no way you can do it because I can't do it. And in their mind, they literally like, well, that, that's not possible because you're one of them. So they see you as them. You're a family member. And I was like, no shit. She goes, yeah. She goes, Michael, you've got to stop looking to them for support and for motivation or for believing in you. It's, it's not that they don't believe in you. It's that they don't believe in themselves. And since you're their brother, they're looking at you like, 
you're crazy. You're never going to be able to do that. So that kind of, that made a lot of sense to me because when someone else can't see themselves doing something, they for damn sure can't see you doing it either, right? Now, this also includes friends, family, coworkers, and people that you hang out with on a daily basis. If they don't believe in themselves, they're going to look at you and be like, dude, you're stupid. You're crazy. They really don't believe that you can do it because they don't believe they can do it. So don't talk to them about it and get away from them. So this is why you've got to listen to yourself. Another person, I think it was Tony Robbins, or someone like that had said, only you know what's inside you. Only you know what desire you have, how far you're willing to push it to make and achieve that goal. And only you knows what experiences you've had. Even your mom, your brother, your best friend, they didn't know that you played soccer when you were in third grade. They didn't know that you, you developed this skill. They didn't know that you learned this psychologically. They didn't, they, there's all these things you learned through life that, that they never learned, that they never developed, that they never got good at. But they don't know that you did. So they only have a small percentage of who they think you are in their brain. So they they well, you can't do that because you only know this much. No, you know this much. You have this much experience in life. They don't. And not only that, but they don't know what desire you have inside, how much determination you have to achieve your goal. Never listen to someone else. You need to start listening to yourself. The main point of this when we're talking about narcissists is when you get a gut feeling that something's wrong and you feel bad about someone, pull the plug, get out, go airborne, jump out of that fucking door, and you're gone. Let me tell you something. I know that sounds funny, but because I was airborne, when you hit that door, that wind, it hits you, and boom, you're gone. I think you go like 80, 100 miles an hour like in an instant. Like you are fucking gone. I don't know how fast the plane's actually going, but it's like you're gone. And that's what I do with people. When I realize like, oh, this isn't going to work, I'm gone. And I pull that fucking shoot and I'm out. And I tell you what, that really shocked the living fuck out of my last narcissist and his flying monkeys. They were like, whoa, what the fuck happened? He's gone. Yep, I'm gone. I literally three in the morning, something was telling me something's not right. I packed my shit quietly. By the time five, six o'clock in the morning, I, I made something to eat about seven o'clock. He comes up and, well, dude, what's going on? He's like, yeah, I packed my bags. It's already packed. In. I already put it in my car. It's like, I'm out of here, dude. Peace out. Well, what's going on? It's like, all I know is I got a gut feeling is something ain't fucking right. And I left. So here's the other thing. This is it right now. I'm sure you've heard this before. It says this is about narcissists. When they reveal who they are, when they show you who they are, believe them. So when you see like, and this is what it was. It was the couple of days leading up to it. I was like, wait, is this guy doing this shit on purpose? He knows what he's doing because what did I do as an empath? Well, it's okay. He didn't mean, oh, he's having a bad day. I pulled that bullshit on myself. I pulled it on myself. And when I realized like that motherfucker, because I saw the smirk, I was like, oh, that fucker's doing this shit on fucking purpose. And then he did it the next day and he smirked again. I'm like, oh, you motherfucker. I was like, that's it. I'm fucking gone. That's really what it was. And it was that night when my gut was just like, because I kept thinking like, can I work this out? Can we figure something out? No, it was done. I think that's pretty much it. If I were to give you one piece of advice, a narcissist didn't like verbally tell me that you need to listen to yourself, but it was by the way they treated me, how shitty it was and how fucked up it was. I'm glad I listened to it and I'm glad I pulled that fucking shoot and I got out of there. It's like, I am done. I'm out. Peace out. That, when you do that, that is the most empowering thing you can do in your life. The thing is like, the first time you do it, you're terrified and you won't do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. It's like, it's literally, it's literally as terrifying as jumping out of the door of a plane for the first, well, every time. It's fucking scary, right? You're like, fuck that. I, well, actually it's not. You, it gets a little better. But that first time, you don't know what, what's going to happen once you jump out that fucking door. <laughs> of a plane and you're terrified it's the same thing when you know your girlfriend's hurting you she's cheating on you she's lying to you she's fucking she's and my ex-girlfriend did something so wrong let me see how long this video is i'm gonna throw it in i was asleep i was taking a nap or no no it wasn't nighttime it was probably about nine ten o'clock at night and i was asleep and i heard someone whispering in my ear now, mind you, I was asleep, but then I woke up and I didn't open my eyes because I was like, what the fuck? She literally was saying, nobody likes you. Everyone hates you. She was whispering, nobody likes you. Everybody hates you. She was whispering it 
over and over and over. And I didn't open my eyes because I knew she was like, oh, that was the first time. I was just kidding. I knew she'd pull that bullshit on me. So the next night, I did the same thing. But this time I didn't go to sleep. I stayed awake and she started doing it. And I let her do it about 15 fucking times. And I opened my eyes and go, what the fuck are you doing? And she goes, oh, no, I was just kidding around. I, was, I never did it before. No, no, she'd probably been doing it for weeks, if not months. All right. And I actually had an issue around that where I felt like everyone hated me for a long time. And I mean a long fucking time. It really freaked me the fuck out. So listen to your gut instinct. If someone's treating you like shit, get the fuck away. Because if they're doing something like that to you in front of you, what are they doing behind you? What are they doing when you're sleeping? Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Take care of yourselves. And that's really what this video is saying. Take care of yourself. Because if you think someone else is going to take care of you, that's where you're fucking up. That's why your life isn't where you want it to be. You're hoping someone else is going to protect you. You have to protect you. You have to look out for you. You have to take care of you. Hey, click subscribe. Click, click the like button if you like this video. God bless you guys. Please take care of yourself.